Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got this BMW M140i in for a bunch of handling upgrades and brake upgrades. But before we jump into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, and then you won't miss if our new videos go live. So um, handling upgrades and brake upgrades today. So brakes wise, we're upgrading the um, front pads, like some sort of Frodo pads, and then braided brake lines all round with some upgraded brake fluid. So I'm um, improving like the fade resistance, improving the brake pedal feel with the less compressible um, brake fluid. And then um, handling wise, we're installing some of the favorites on these cars. So um, wave track limited slip differential. Um, also installing the underbody brace and the um, M4 front lower control arm. So um, moving away from the factory um, open differential, which really limits sort of like traction and grip, um, improving the um, sort of like reinforcement of the rear subframe to help it um, stop moving about so much. Um, so it, the rear end of the car will feel much more connected. And then the front lower control arms um, then increase the camera at the front as well, which unlocks quite a bit of grip. So um, we're going to get the car in the workshop. We're going to have all the parts laid out, walk you through them, um, all the benefits and stuff like that. So we'll see in a little bit. So we've got the M140i on the routes behind us. We removed the exhaust system, we're just about to remove the factory um, axle from the car, um, getting ready to install the Wavetrack equipped axle. Um, so we're just gonna talk you through um, all, all the parts we've got here in front of us, um, starting from my left. Um, obviously we've got the Wavetrack limited slip differential upgrade. Um, we've done loads of videos on all the, div the advantages of the Wavetrack over all the other sort of like ATB um, automatic torque bias and differentials on the market. Um, so if you want to head over and watch one of those videos, we'll put like a card or like a link in the description so you can see that. But um, essentially the reason why you would install a Wavetrack limited slip differential is that these cars come with an open differential from the factory. The problem with open differentials is once one wheel begins to slip, all the power is sent to that freely spinning wheel. And on these cars, what tends to happen is it's got like electronic systems that basically use the brakes or limit the torque output of the vehicle until such a time that traction is regained. So um, it's obviously a slower way to drive the car with the brakes or the torque um, output being limited. So if you install a wave track differential, all those electronic control systems can stay in place, but um, they'll only intervene or they'll intervene a lot less because you're actually sending power to both the wheels and also um, the wave track will seamlessly bias power to the wheel with the most amount of grip. And it does that much better than all the other diffs on the market as well. Um, and what we do is we keep in stock exchange axles on the shelf to minimize downtime. So um, a wave track exchange axle can be installed in a couple of hours as opposed to your car being off the road for a few days because the factory ring gear is actually um, friction welded to the factory open differential. So it's a little bit of a longer time to install, but obviously you've taken all the complication out of it by having the wave track diff. And then we've got the underbody brace. Um, this particular customer hasn't gone for an OE underbody brace, he's gone for an ultra racing one. Um, so a little bit of an upgrade over even the upgraded OE one. Um, so what this does is it reinforces the subframe to like the center of the vehicle. So the subframe will move around a lot less. So it'll give you more of sort of like a connected feeling to the rear end, which works really nicely with the diff. Um, and then here we've got the uh, M4 lower control arms. So you basically re replace the um, front lower control arms and the tension arms as well. And what this adds is another negative degree of camber at the front of the vehicle, which unlocks a significant amount of grip. Um, so you'll feel that the handling um, or the grip from the front end of the vehicle will, will feel like it's a lot more. Um, the um, feeling from the front end will be a lot better as well. So that's a great upgrade to do, um, even by itself or with the diff. And then brakes wise, replacing the factory brake fluid with Motul RBF 660. So it's a brake fluid that's got a much higher boil boiling point, but is also less compressible than the OE fluid as well. So um, as well as resisting fade a lot better, um, it will give you a much firmer pedal feel as well. At the same time, this customer is installing some Goodridge um, stainless steel braided brake lines. So the factory lines are made from sort of like a, a rubber material. And what happens is, is with um, a lot of brake pressure, so when you're pressing the brake pedal very hard, they tend to sort of like balloon. 
and um, that gives you like a poor pedal feel and the stainless steel lines uh, resist that a lot better versus the factory ones. So when you're adding in a lot of um, sort of like brake pedal effort, you won't get sort of like a loss of um, feeling as well. And then um, at the same time doing the Frodo DS2500 brake pads. So, so the um, DS2500s have a lot more friction than the factory pads and also have a higher temperature working range as well. So again, adding in some more fade resistance and the stopping power will feel a lot more as well. And then at the same time, obviously you're upgrading the brake pads. It's a good idea to obviously refresh the disc at the same time as well. New pad compound, ideally you want um, a new uh, sort of like disc surface as well. So this particular customer has gone for dimpled and slotted um, brake discs at the front of the vehicle, uh, moving away from the factory plane one. So this will just help to keep the brake pad surface a little bit fresher every single time. Obviously you're using the, the brake pads. So yeah, gonna get all these parts fitted to the car and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we'd really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.